as a small aside, maybe you can guide me through it. I don't know if you're paying attention, but there was some chaos around uh, Taleb and the Bitcoin community. I wasn't quite paying attention, uh, but from my outsider's perspective, I thought uh, Nassim Taleb was a supporter of Bitcoin. And then a lot of people were very upset about something. I'm sorry if I don't know the details, but it, can you can you uh, pull out some profound philosophical ideas from the disagreement <laughs> of the chaos? I admittedly uh, don't know too much about it either. I, I'm a big fan of his writing. Mm-hmm. Um, he's always been a little different in person. Like I actually, he signed one of my books. I met him in person. He's just, he's got a very abrasive personality. He's kind of known for it. It's yeah. not, I don't think I'm passing any judgment here. He sort of embraces it. <laughs> yeah. But he had written um, the forward to a really important book in Bitcoin called the Bitcoin Standard for Safety in a Moose. Mm-hmm. And then I think they had a little Twitter beef because Safety was, is very much against COVID mask and state intervention, Got whereas it. Taleb's on the other side of the fence. Right. And so, and then after that beef, Taleb came out against Bitcoiners saying, oh, Bitcoiners are crazy and wrong. I think the great mask debate of the 2020 will probably be the thing that ultimately leads to World War III. Um, I've been very (laughs) surprised how tense, how much like division this one little arguably silly thing has led to. I think a lot of people sort of project their, like, it's almost like not wearing a mask is a statement of sovereignty, of freedom, of yeah. like saying fuck you to the man, the government, the centralized power, or the dishonesty, or the uh, in the scientific community, all those kinds of things. And then wearing a mask is a sort of kind of signaling of, of various kind of uh, social aspects. I don't know, I'm not paying attention to it. I actually tuned out. I was part of a group of scientists that were looking into like, do masks work? This very interesting question. Uh To me, it was an interesting question. I sort of roll in to ask that very interesting question because I think it is an interesting scientific question. But then I quickly realized that just as I was doing this like scientific exploration of this very interesting question about viron particles, like what kind of things, like from a scientific perspective, how do we prevent the spread of a pandemic? Forget COVID, any pandemic, yeah. super deadly or not deadly. Like there's tools, there's testing, there's masks, there's all these tools, how well do they work? And then I realized, you know, in April or so, it became a tool of politics, a mm-hmm. tool of philosophy. Mm-hmm. And that's when I sort of pulled out. So it's fascinating. I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a canvas on which people project their emotions. And I guess until I got caught up in that kind of, so there's nothing fundamental, I suppose, to their disagreement. Not that I'm aware of, okay. but he is, you know, he's written some about in his books, the problem with centralization. I mean, a lot of his writing mm-hmm. um, addresses that. And he actually points to, I think Switzerland is the best government in the world because it's decentralized. Um, so there's that. I, I don't think he has any, I'm not, not to speak for him, but I don't think he's uh, voiced any specific critiques on Bitcoin per se. Mm-hmm. Could be wrong about that. It's, it's just maybe his flavorful language and the way he t- likes to yeah. communicate. And the other theory is that maybe he's playing 4D chess and having a, a Twitter boating accident, you know? So I don't believe in Bitcoin. I've sold all my Bitcoin. And Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> sorry, the boating accident in Bitcoin yeah. is this, um, I guess it's proverbial by this point, where it's the way you lose your Bitcoin. So if someone comes after you and says, hey, you know, whether it's a government or an individual is coming after you saying, give me all your Bitcoin or pay these taxes in Bitcoin, you go, oh, I had a boating accident and lost them all. Lost them all. So, yeah. (laughs) 